going to add here a new array. Let me use the last one and duplicate that. Remove the comma and it will be users count by age. Just to have another pie chart on the screen. The ID is okay. Let's put a series. Let's put 0 to 18 group it will be let's call it h and the color is okay 20 20 so then from 8 19 to let's say 50 i don't know random values let's put 100 and the last one greater than 50 we have 60. After saving that, you can see I have a new endpoint here. Users country by name. Let me hide that. Let me add the new endpoint so we can use that. Country by H. Mm -hmm. And after that, we can use the new endpoint in the um, dashboard. What we want to do. We want to create the new observable array to the data, user by each data. Then we also need to start its value, the same logic as before. So users by each value. Then what we need, we need to add a new one here. So we will create two of them and change the data to this one and the selection to the new selection. We want also to be a pie chart using our module. And what we want to do now is to load the new data. We can duplicate this one and let's call it load by load point shorts data okay and we can call that here mm -hmm. description protected and we can duplicate that delete that part and this will be the let's see how called it data from service and we want to call a new function that we need to add in the dashboard services let's duplicate that and we want the fetch uh, users count by age here we are calling that and we are changing the users count by age observable array that will notify the um, array data provider inside the pie chart that holds this observable array and then we'll change the data so if you go to here uh load okay uh, i missed the dot here so we need to load that we can also stop using the async keyword there uh -huh, something went wrong and you know why because as I added a new um, a new property here I need to reload I need to serve again the object app because the JSON files are not loaded automatically as soon as we uh, edit them so now we have the data here with same logic we can then change the properties and so on now we are going to change the this page and create 
let's call it a e-commerce page where you can have some products to buy maybe let's use books as an example let's build a library here where you can buy some books but firstly we need to list them and we are going to learn how we can build an object composite there is basically a set of object components or or not can be base HTML tags let's see how you can do that you can learn about that in the um, Oracle Jet cookbook by looking for web components. Let's open a basic one here. Just a quick review, then we need to change the, the, the modules and the names and the router so we can navigate to the new page. Basically, this is a composite and you can see that is inside a folder named jet-composites. Then you have the name of your composite that will also be the name of the tag you are going to use. So demo-chord. You can have a different name here, but it's a good practice to have every, every uh, name matching what you are doing. And then the difference from loading the modules as we did with the pie chart is that we are specifying attributes to a new element tag that we are creating and we just give it the new attributes with some variables instead of giving the module config properties. It's a different way of doing that. Basically, we will create a new HTML tag that we'll have inside if you go here to the view HTML this is our composite so we we have a div with some behavior and inside another div that has an oj avatar so this one here with the, the person there and the the oj avatar will receive some properties then we have another div binding the the properties that name so the dev rafael at adam frips and then we have another div with another data as work and email, you can put there or not. It depends of what you are giving here to the um, to the uh, object composite. So it's not that difficult, but we need to learn how to do that. Now let's go to the app controller GS app controller GS file. And we are going to change the incidents to um, let's call it books. Uh, lowercase here and upper and capital case here. We can still have this icon. By the way, you can see the um, Oracle icons in this link. I can leave it in the um, description of this video. Just let me update this version so we can match so inside in the index html we are loading a older version let's use the newest one so you can use the newest version of the, um, the icons and we want a book uh, let's use this one you press here wait a little bit because uh, it's a little bit uh, slow and it will open a pop-up you can choose what you want to do usually you copy the class name and then you can go to your code and just use the ctrl v to paste that and you have the icon book there if i go here you can see i have now the books there but it's not loading because books do not exist we need to change the this the incidents page incidents one of course you can create a new one but let's just rename this one because the the, um, the path we have here it's the same name you have to your view model let me grab this select that press f2 and then books i said books i i wrote books right let me yeah so books and then the view you need to do the same books and let's change here the name to books to keep everything with the same naming convention by the way these these methods are 
executed when we connect and disconnect from the DOM. So if I put a, a console log here saying connected is when the module is loaded and connected to the DOM or inserted to the DOM. This is when you close or change to another another page. So this connected, you maybe want to have some kind of logic when you connect and disconnect. And here you can animate, let's put here transition and let's see that happening. When you select books, you have the connected and then the transition. So you can animate something. So you are transitioning to books. When you go to customers, you have the disconnect and you have books, you have connect again and transition. This is the OJET life cycle. So if you look for OJET life cycle, those are the life cycles, the disconnected, the bindings applied, the connected. We also have the activated. So you can read about that later. We can also learn more about that and use them. For now, let's keep the work to create a new jet composite.